Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be talking about um, a natural medicine that you can actually find out here in the woods. And I was uh, coming down by the river the other day and I noticed a whole bunch of it growing. And I want to I want to show that to you guys. It's really, really cool. It's found all across the, uh, the country. Um, lots of different places in the world have it. And it's a, it's a type of lichen. Now uh, this is an oak tree that's grown right down here by the creek. And uh, it's pretty old. I don't even know how old this thing is, but um, it's got a bunch of stuff growing on it. It looks like like lime green or like olive green fuzz. And it's actually called Usnea or Usnea. And, um, these branches broke off of there. And uh, here it is. This is it. It's uh, Usnea. Now, Usnea is uh, is a very, very strong anti uh, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. A lot of medicinal properties with this, and a lot of other uses you can use with it too. Um, Native Americans have used this for uh, for a very, very long time, for thousands of years in the United States, and. Um, you can find them all the way over here on the East Coast, all the way over into Washington State. And it's otherwise known as Old Man's Beard. Now, over on the, on the West Coast, it's really, really, really long and stringy. And uh, this is what it looks like right here. And one of the, 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 the telling tales that it's Usnea is, if you look right there, there's the spot that it grew out of, that one little brown dot. It, it comes from a single stem. Um, so it doesn't doesn't grow all over uh, one little stem will actually produce produce a big bush of it and uh, Another couple things that are really interesting about it is you can use this as like a uh, For topical wounds like if you have a, um, a wound or a cut or a burn that you can actually take this and just put it right on uh, right on your wound and wrap it up and um, the uh, the antibacterial properties will help help stop it from getting an infection, and it's real fluffy and soft and everything too. So, so it should it should, it should allow the wound to breathe at the same time, um, and not really allow things to get in there. Now another tall tale sign that it's usnea, not to mention the single stem, is that when you break it. Let me see if I can mount my camera. Okay, so when you break it, you take one of these little uh, these little stems. And you pull it apart it has these little white that one didn't work too well but it's got a little white stem on the inside like a little white string I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna take a couple pictures and show you actually I'll put it in right now all right now um, the usnea you can eat this stuff raw just like this or you can make a tincture out of it, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna be making a tincture. I eat I eat it raw all the time, and um, the active ingredient in this is usnic acid. Now, usnic acid, you don't want to uh, you don't want to eat very much of this, um, like let's say like three or four handfuls at a time. You're better off just taking a few small pieces and kind of chewing on them. And when you do, they've got like a real citrusy, uh, acidic uh, flavor to it. They, they're not really flavorful. Uh, but you can taste the usnic acid inside of it, and uh, really, really cool plant. And uh, just to show you guys, I'll eat, a, I'll eat a whole bunch of it. I normally do when I come out here. I chew on some. All right, so here's a small, small piece of it. You can just chew on it a little bit. Mmm. You can taste the acidity of it. Doesn't have really much of a flavor. I don't know, it probably tastes like chewing on bark a little bit, maybe. But um, the thing that this is really good for is chest infections, um, like bronchitis, upper respiratory infections. Um, this stuff is really, really good for your um, for your lungs and everything like that. So uh, I'm going to make a tincture out of this in one of my next videos and uh, kind of show you guys how to do that and what it would be good for. So, uh, so this is it, Usnea nature's uh, nature's antibacterial and it's a strong antibacterial it's one of the most strong potent um, 
antibacterial, antiviral medicines that uh, that you can find in nature. And uh, the reason why this is important is there's not a lot of stuff growing out here right now, but you can find this stuff anywhere. Oak trees are great. You find them all over oak trees, and just about everywhere I go, I see usnea growing on there, and it's this big, green, fluffy stuff. So, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I hope you guys go out and find some usnea and uh, chew on it a little bit. And uh, just make sure it's got a single stem growing out of the tree, and it's got those, when you pull it apart, it's got the little white uh, stringy hair uh, in between it, like a, like, a, like a stringy white stem in between it, uh, just like I showed in the picture. So, uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one, guys.